Welcome to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel, Suspension Polymerization. Based on the particle size, addition of the emulsifying, or stabilizing reagent, the polymerization process can be classified into emulsion polymerization and suspension polymerization. Emulsion, it is a mixture of two immiscible liquids, in which one liquid is dispersed, in other. The particle sizes of emulsions range between 10 to the power of minus 7 centimeters to 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters. For example, milk, fat dispersed in water. Formation of emulsion We know that, oil and water will not mix. On stirring, oil droplets disperse in water for a short period, but, again unite to form oil layer. To prevent the reunion of oil droplets, an emulsifier, made up of hydrophilic polar head and hydrophobic nonpolar tail, is added. Then, the emulsion will be stabilized due to the formation of Michels. Suspension It is a heterogeneous mixture of two immiscible phases. A solid phase, suspended in a liquid, constitutes the suspension. Larger solid particles are dispersed, in the dispersion medium, liquid. The solid particle are large enough, to settle at the bottom, sedimentation. The particle sizes of suspensions of will be above 10 to the power of minus 5 centimeters. Example, mud, in water. Formation of suspension to the water. If mud is added and stirred, after some time, the mud gets settled at the bottom, forming the suspension. Suspension polymerization. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which one type of substance is suspended in the other substance. The suspended substance is large enough to be seen with eye. To carry out suspension polymerization, water is usually taken as the solvent as it is inexpensive, environmentally clean and a better heat transfer medium. Into it polyvinyl alcohol is added. The mixture is heated with constant stirring such that polyvinyl alcohol dissolves. Into this solution, the free radical initiated the benzyl peroxide is dissolved. And then the monomer styrene is added. Formation of suspension can be observed. At this juncture, the polymerization process starts in the monomer droplet containing monomers. Free radicals are formed by the dissociation of free radical initiator. So formed free radical initiates the reaction by the bond formation with a monomer to from another free radical. The newly formed free radical forms bond with another monomer. In this manner the chain reaction propagates. As a result, solid polymer is formed in a bead shape. At the end, the chain terminates to give the final product that is polystyrene. This method is inexpensive and environmentally favorable. Reaction temperature and viscosity of the medium can be under control. Product can be easily isolated as it is insoluble in water. The disadvantages are that 
we can use only water insoluble monomers, and, the product also should be water insoluble. Agitation of the reaction mixture should be continuous, and, the product formed is, not 100% pure. The next, animation video is on. Emulsion polymerization. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.